10 Guiding Principles of Instructional Technology and Distance Education by Monica Livingston In this session, I will be covering some principles important to follow while designing a face-to-face -face or online course. You will see videos and media tools used to reach every intelligence. Pass the presentation as you complete or view some of the activities. Principle number one. Before designing the lecture, we need to know our audience. Once we analyze our audience learning style, we can proceed to select the appropriate media tools to reach every learner. Esmaldino introduces us to the Assure process. Esmaldino states that the first step in lecture planning should be to identify and analyze our audience. Principle number two. Be knowledgeable about the multiple learning intelligences when designing lectures online or face-to-face. -face. A multiple intelligences road to an ELT classroom written by Michael Berman mentions that there are nine categories of learning styles and intelligences types to reach our audience. You can see them here. Principle number three study and comprehend the national educational technology standards for teachers and for students. Esmaldino covers the importance of differentiating between teacher and student use of technology. We must understand internet safety for both teachers and students. Principle number four. Study the state standards and objective before designing a complex lecture. The subject matter expert must be familiar with the class, state standards, and objective before adding any media tools and preparing a rigorous lesson. Principle number five, conduct instructional analysis to distinguish the level of technology of each student. There are different styles of learners. A pre-technology survey will give us the necessary information in regards to technology level and skills. Principle number six, develop and select instructional media based on the results of the technology survey. After reviewing the pre-technology survey, we can select the best media tools to target each learning style. Principle number seven, we should prepare all the students before deploying any media tools, keeping in mind Esmaldino's five P's. Esmaldino introduces us to the 5 piece process. We must consider before incorporating media tools. Preview the technology, media, and materials. Prepare the technology, media, and materials. Prepare the environment. Prepare the learners. And provide the learning experience. All, the, all of the 5 piece share the same purpose and goal to help students achieve the state and local learning objective. Principle number eight, provide the learner the opportunity to take ownership while introducing a new topic. Esmaldino explains that the learner must demonstrate active mental engagement while using a media tool to reinforce the teacher's lecture. In this video, students enjoy novelty while learning and having fun. Millennials engage. Principle number nine, create our summative evaluations based on the learning outcomes and state standards. The summative evaluation must be the reflection of the learning standards and objective, focusing on two areas per Esmaldino, effectiveness, modification, revisions of the lecture, and media tool effectiveness. Principle number 10. As devoted educators, we must continue to read and educate ourselves in the latest practices in regards to the best ways to improve a student achievement despite the media tools utilized. And don't ever forget Clark's argument. Media are mere vehicles that deliver instruction but do not influence student achievement.